We're going to rationalize denominators using conjugates when we have radicals in the denominators. So we're going to start out with a rule called the difference of two squares. When I have a minus a plus b times a minus b, that equals a squared minus b squared. Now, the a plus b and the a minus b, we actually call these two terms conjugates of one another when we're adding and subtracting. The nice thing about this is we end up squaring each piece. And the reason this rule works is because when we multiply them out, um, the inner and the outer terms actually cancel one another out. When we're squaring each piece like this, if there's a radical, of course, that makes the radical go away, which is what we're going to be interested in doing. So let's start with our first example. We're going to have 3 over 2 root 5 plus 1. Now, I'm going to look at the denominator, and we have a radical there, and we need to get rid of that radical. The way we're going to do that is I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom of this equation by the conjugate of the denominator. The conjugate of the denominator in this case is going to be 2 root 5 minus 1. Now, remember, you have to do it to the top and the bottom the same. Technically, I'm only multiplying this by the number 1. Up top, I get 3, parenthesis, 2 root 5, minus 1. In the bottom, I'm going to use my difference of 2 square rule above. A, in this case, is the 2 root 5. B, in this case, is the 1. So I'm going to write 2 root 5, and I'm going to square that whole thing. Minus, and in parentheses, I'm going to have 1 squared. Up top, I'm going to use the distributive property. I'm going to get 6 root 5 minus 3. Down below, when I square the 2, I'm going to get 4. And when I square the root 5, I just get 5. Minus. 1 squared is just 1. Be really careful when you square that 2 root 5. There's no distributive, or um, I'm giving a square to both the 2, which is just 4, and the root 5 squared just becomes 5. You could make it root 25, which would still give you the 5. Continuing on, up top I have 6 root 5 minus 3. Down below, 4 times 5 is 20 minus 1. Clearing up my denominator here, I'm going to, or up top, I'm going to have the 6 root 5 minus 3. Down below, I'm going to have 19. And I can't factor anything out that's going to reduce with the 19, so this is my final answer. Let's try another example using conjugates. So we're going to do root 5 plus 3 over root 3 minus root 2. Now, again, it needs to be the conjugate of the denominator. The numerator is going to be the same for now. Root 5 plus 3. The denominator is going to be root 3 minus 2. Now, its conjugate is going to be the root 3 plus 2. Now, I need to remember to do that to both the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator. Up top, I need the FOIL. So I'm going to multiply the first outer, inner, last term. So the first term is going to be root 5 times root 3 is root 15, plus root 2 times root 5 is root 10, plus 3 root 3 is just 3 root 3, plus 3 root 2. Down below, I'm going to apply the rule above, the difference of two squares, because I have conjugates. So I'm going to get in parentheses root 3 squared minus root 2 squared. Up top, I don't have any like terms, so I can't combine anything at all. So I'm just going to be left with root 15 plus root 10 plus 3 root 3 plus 3 root 2. Down below, I have root 3 squared 
the squared and the radical undo one another, we just end up with a 3. Root 2 squared just gives me 2, so it's going to be minus 2. Sorry, I jumped the gun there. 3 minus 2 down below is just a 1, so we're just going to end up with root 15 plus root 10 plus 3 root 3 plus 3 root 2. Now, all of it would be over 1, but anything over 1 is just itself. That ends up being the final answer there. Let's do one more. Here I'm going to have 4 root x over 2 minus root x. So once again, I need to identify what the conjugate is going to be of the denominator. Up top, it's going to be 4 root x. Down below, I'm going to have 2 minus root x. Multiply by its conjugate, which is going to be the 2 plus root x. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. In the numerator, I'm going to have distributive property. I'm going to have 4 root x times 2, which gives me 8 root x. Then I'm going to go 4 root x times root x is going to give me 4 root x times root x. In the denominator, I, again, I'm going to apply the difference of two square rules up above, and I'm going to get 2 squared minus root x squared. Up top, I have 8 root x plus 4, and root x times root x just becomes x. We're going to assume that x is positive, so we don't need absolute value or anything crazy like that. Down below, I'm going to have 4 minus, and root x squared is just x. And I can't factor anything out that's going to reduce. No, oh, actually I can. No, I cannot. Make sure that you don't try to reduce the 4 in the bottom with the 4 up top or the 8 up top. We would have to factor something evenly out of both to be able to reduce it. So in fact, this is our final answer. 8 root x plus 4 root x all over 4 minus x.